Uh, our resident financial advisor and dear close personal friend of the show, Lenny Bakken, he wants to know, can Arn share any stories or impressions he got from Greg Gagne? I believe Gagne was working for WCW behind the scenes a bit in the early 90s. I can't. I, was, uh, I can't do a Greg, you know, imitation because it was any anything that we had to do as far as interaction was always all business all the time. So I was never in a, uh, you know, we didn't go out drinking or anything like that. You know, we weren't, weren't together a lot backstage. Um, what was your overall impression of him, though, as a, as a, as a person? Well, he grew up in the business. I never yeah. had a problem with, with Greg whatsoever. Um, uh, I just didn't have that much dealings with him uh, because I was still wrestling at the time, and there was, you know, it was like one story I can just, and it's not really even a story, was I wrestled Stephen Regal for the TV title, and it was in Albany at a pay-per-view, or it was the Clash of Champions. I think it was a pay-per-view, Albany, Georgia. So I come in, you know, during the afternoon. It had to be a pay-per-view because I came in hours before, you know, the start time. So it had to be a, a pay-per-view. And he comes up to me as I walk in the back door. He must have been waiting on me, and he was the agent for the match. He said, Phew. There you are, like I was late or something, you know. And it, maybe he didn't mean it that way. He says, you know, you and Regal, 30 minutes. Well, it just so happened I had drank a few cervezas the night before. I had probably ate what was not really good food. I didn't feel the best when I got to the building. But I wasn't expecting on wrestling Steve Regal or fighting Steve Regal, probably more accurate, for 30 minutes. So I said, okay, I'll be back in about an hour and a half. He said, where are you going? I said, I got to go to the gym. I got to go sweat this shit out because <laughs> I knew I was going to be in for a tough night. And uh, it worked out well. The match went well. Everything came off without a hitch, but. That's really the only story. You know, I know that Mike Graham used to terrorize him all the time. But they did go out drinking, you know. Mike, Mike Graham was a terrorist. If he knew he could get to you, get up under your skin, or he had these little stubby hands with these stubby fingers, he'd come up, poke Greg in the chest, and it would infuriate him. Well, there you that's go. That's all I got. That's all yeah. I got. No, that's good. That's good. That's something. And uh, Lenny, great question.